Citizens of the Reject Nation, rejoined by MJ Tesler. People are like, hey, what's his social media handle? I no, they did the, say that. It's at the very top of these videos every time. Follow this guy. Our Fallout Walking Dead Star Wars sage. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sweet. But we're here to watch The Bad Batch, and we've been loving this season so far. They released two episodes. I'm so excited. So am I. Leave a like, people. Use the force to leave a like. And while you're at it, wave your way over to that subscribe button. Click that bell to get notified when a reaction is up. Use all the reactions you are looking for. Prepper. You guys rock. Thank you for helping us edit down these highlights. Super sexies. Thank you to all who have become super sexy rejects by joining said Patreon page. Over there, you get the full-length reaction. Watch along for Bad Batch. And we cover several things exclusively. The highlights and watch along is included. Michael, let us blast off into space. Engage. Wait. You just lost the entire, <laughs> entire audience, Michael. <laughs> I feel like the bad blood between Trekkies and Star Wars fans. Is not in our lifetime, Michael. Peace in our time. <laughs> <laughs> not in our lifetime. I'm always early. Infiltration. Infiltration. What are we infiltrating? Mount Tantus? I'm assuming Tantus. Oh, I love this architecture. Welcome to Agrabah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's going to be racist if I say this. <laughs> One jump ahead of us. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does feel like Eastern culture influence, though. Yeah. Oh, my God. Assassin's Creed. Oof. I'm just a sucker for sci-fi dread music. I'm not certain it was wise to come out of hiding, Senator. It is not safe for us here. We're not safe anywhere, GS8. Don't worry. My team is in position. Damn, we just like skipped to this plot line, huh? I'm so here for it. Is this the senator that George Lucas played in Revenge of the Sith? I had to take a few extra precautions. Of course. That's how we got the return of Rex. Our desire for true independence has not faded. That is a growing sentiment among my people as well. Birth of the Rebellion. The Emperor is concerned that planets and systems may unite and oppose him. We love doing the birth of the Rebellion in Star Wars. I will do anything for my people, for Axis. What are you suggesting? That isn't who Lucas played, just so they don't yell at me in the comments. <laughs> Lucas was blue. <laughs> <laughs> they already typed Michael. You're doomed. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had my coffee yet. No, I think this might be one of those uh, Imperial assassins that we saw last season. Or Gregor. Could also be a certain Asajj Ventress. That's a reach. Samson, report. Hold that quiet. Greer, Greer, come in. That's an unceremonious end for Greer. Rex, Greer's not responding. Check the kitchen. Intruder, protect the senators! If you ever can't find me, look in the kitchen. Everyone, down! Badass. This That's Rex, grabs baby. that grenade. This looks like a cutscene from a video game. That's what a cutscene is, guys. Good job, Greg. <laughs> I'm so excited to see who this is. The Southern Maintenance Tower. On it. Oh, this person could be Rex. Yeah. You know, it could be. The physique is, it could be it. But why would Asajj be hunting? Well, I guess because it's a, a former separatist senator, maybe. That's how they took down Asajj Ventures. No, it's one of the clone assassins. I got him. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> I was also wrong, but I was right. I'd advise you and Singh to keep a lower profile until we know more. <laughs> if I get any intel out of him, I'll let you know. Thank you, Rex. Think you'll cooperate? Yes. Though we have to try. We recovered this from his gear. It's a data puck, highly encrypted. Have Fireball find out what's on it when we get back to base camp. Just walks around with a data puck, huh? Well, it's probably the assassination orders. Can't commit to memory. Terrible assassin. What's my to-do list? <laughs> Murder these guys. <laughs> Greg, it's a lot of things you're juggling when you're an assassin. Got a lot of respect for the hitmen. Listen, no matter what they did to you, no matter what you've done. You're still our brother. You're still a clone. You're still one of us. I can help you, but we need answers. 
Rex, the best of us. Oh, the shadow tennis. clone just staying in the shadow. Why have I been activated? One of the other operatives has gone dark. My honors. He's been compromised. Track him down and neutralize him. Questioning. The, the way they that soldier questioned. It's like kind of a freelancer attitude. Well, he's getting briefed. He's like, why have I been <laughs> activated? We know there are others like you. Where are you based? Coruscant? Daro? Tantis? Ooh. Oh, yeah, we know about Tantis. Wow, he did a giveaway look. You need to push him harder. I'm whispering this to you. <laughs> <laughs> the cop had <laughs> Yeah. Hey, push him harder. <laughs> His data puck was a target Told register. You. I know. Who was he after? Senator Singh. But that wasn't the only person on his list. Omega. Contact Echo and Hunter. We need to let them know. They're hunting Omega. We should bring them here. No. That's an awful idea. Crosshair is with them. This is our chance to question him. Echo's already done that. But we haven't. If you want to locate Tantus, then we need him to talk. Oh, that guy's willing to play dirty. He's going to go to the He's not dark wrong, side. though. I love the interrogation tension. This sort of desperation is not a good time for morals. I just want the show to keep going darker. I know. Clone Rebellion. That's all love I want. It. Love the darkness. So where exactly are we headed? It's a base of sorts. I thought your rendezvous with Gregor was top priority. Oh, Gregor. <laughs> But for this clone rebellion to happen, they all need to be in unison with each other and cross her. I put them at a crossroads. Ah, waka waka. They don't look happy to see us. Just like old times. <laughs> <laughs> they already don't like the Batch. Forgot about that. They're already like, Batch is weird. Remember me? Surprised I'm alive? Most of my squad from Ryloth is dead because of you. Easy, Hauser. Poor Hauser. We're all on the same side now. Why'd you call us here, Captain? Now you're gonna have the Ark Hunter head. We have something to show you. Follow me. Oh, with less love. Omega! I was planning on giving you this after I made a few more modifications. Oh, is that a slingshot blaster? Now's as good a time as any. Huh. An energy crossbow. Wow. Where did you get it? I've made a few interesting contacts across the galaxy. Oh, whoa. <laughs> That's uh, some Wookiee-esque technology. God, I just think Omega is so cool this season. She's my oh, favorite. She's my oh, favorite one. I know it. Her and Crosshair. A weird dynamic duo. Oh, I love this purple view. I mean, you could tell this episode's building on something really important. Like they, they're, they got their cinematography. They're, oh, they got no, their art is, direction they're not, they're not messing around. fire. <laughs> and like, not even anything crazy is happening. And the tone is visceral and uncomfortable. Too lazy to just tuck your chair. I just have high standards for assassins, Michael. I, I admire that about you, Greg. <laughs> just like it's nice to own, know if you ever put a hit on me that I, <laughs> yeah. I would get A plus treatment. All right, this shadow clone looks, unless if it's not a clone, it is a Saj. Whoever, this one seems like a real threat. Oh, they must be well equipped to take on an entire. Yeah, they're just like, we're sending in one to get this all done. You know? We recovered a target list from an Imperial operative, and uh, Omega's on it. Oh. She escaped Imperial custody. So did you, but you're not on the list. Guess I'm not as valuable to them. Or you're feeding them information. Mm -hmm. You expect us to believe he was held on Tantus for months, but he doesn't know how to get back there? Yes, it's very... What's going on? The Empire's targeting you again. No surprise there. I love how they're receiving this information. Why were they after you before? To force Nalise to cooperate and conduct certain experiments. She was working on something involving M count. Oh, interesting. M count. You know what that is? Well, I've heard it mentioned before, but I can't say for sure. Oh shit. What else can you tell us? Are we gonna see Ahsoka? I hope so. Are we gonna see Ahsoka? Oh man, I'm not mentally ready for that. I didn't even think about that. There's more you should know. Not all of the clones on Tantus are prisoners. Some are loyal to the Empire. It's good he's offering this up. There is a division of clones trained the specialized operatives. He's got the answers? If the program's so secretive, how do you know about it? <laughs> because they tried to make me into one of them. Tried? 
Uh, sounds suspicious when you say that, though. Being defective is in my nature. <laughs> We've known they existed, but never knew exactly what they were. What aren't you telling us? We've got another We've one. We've got one in the closet. We captured one. I've tried questioning him, but he hasn't been very cooperative. You have one here, alive? Big security risk. Impossible. They have ways of tracking their operatives. We scanned him. It's not the kind of tracker your scans would pick up. Hemlock's smarter than that. Where's the operative? Spooky. This is a good build. This is a very scary build, is good, what it is. Good suspenseful build. Yeah. I don't want any more clones to die. <laughs> it, like, viscerally hurts my soul, Greg. Oh. And beyond that, too, it's just the uh, amount of taking advantage of the souls of the clone that they go this far again, you know? <laughs> Why did they take the shot? And capture alive is preferential, I'm sure. I mean, even if they take her body dead, they could still could they still perform the experiment? I mean, I, I think having ongoing samples of blood. That's actually really logical. Unless there's something else going on here that we're not privy to. Oh, interesting. What if they push the wrong button to turn their chair back around? I have a visual on Dr. Hemlock's prime target. Is it confirmed? It's her. She's with a group of rogue clowns. Oh, man. The girl must be taken alive. There we go. This is about to be very bad. This one clone's gonna kill everyone. Or Asajj Ventress. Don't know who you are. I think it's a clone. I think Asajj is wearing Rex's face right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's been trading in the, the house of faces. If you want answers so badly, why aren't you asking him? What? Oh, shit. Oh, fibro blade. You're right about one thing. They are coming for all of you. <sighs> Whoa. And more clones are going mm, down. This is bad. Shoot out here. Oof. It's one warrior to take them all down. Shots coming from the back of the room. Levick, we need to get comms online. What do we do? Crosshair, start crossing hairs with this sniper. Backup plan. Into the command post. I'll cover you. Great camera work here. Oof. Oh, oh no. man. Oh, oh my god, what boy. a domino effect. Damn. Oh. Problem is there's Imperial backups on the way. They're here. Uh, it's probably like Republic Commandos, too. I suppose Imperial Commandos now. Yep. Oh, boy. Commander. Lost <gasps> contact with the operative. Is that Wolf? Prepare to land. That's a Set blasters to stun. No. <laughs> Our orders are to retrieve the target yeah. alive. Good. Well, that bodes well, if you've seen Rebels. Let's... Watch the next one right away. They just wanted a bad guy on their team in Rebels. You know what I'm talking about, right? Wolf is one of the survivors in Rebels with Rex. Yeah. Yeah. That's what my joke was. About oh. About wanting a bad guy on the team. There's Gregor, Wolf. Is there another one? There was. What was the other one? He was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Oh, uh, Crazy Clown. <laughs> <laughs> so they called him. Crazy. I'm Crazy Clown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like a water car on the team. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna go, we're gonna catch some sand monsters. Yeah. Still infiltrating. Extraction. extraction. Oh nice. shit! Nice infiltration. Extraction. Cool. I see the. I'm half rooting for the assassin. The dead one? Is it for sure dead? I don't know. Is that one Inquisitor dead? <laughs> no, a hand's about to pop out. Yep. See? Look at that. 
I'm on your team right now. I think you go the extra mile. You're a hard worker. I'd hire you. Yeah, honestly. It's like you want an assassin. The newest co-host of the Real Rejects. <laughs> yeah. Shadow assassin clone. I respect that. Maybe this is a, a, a direct replica of Snipe of Crosshair in some way. Oh, I think that's part of the reflection of it. You know, it's like poetry, Greg. Yeah. It rhymes. It's pretty. It rhymes. We need to get moving before the reinforcements get here. Is there another way off this spire? <laughs> There's always another way. Oh, I hope they encounter another monster. Hole. I love a hole. <laughs> Batcher. <laughs> Batcher is so excited. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> Let's go down there. We all need a Batcher in our life. Our leech vessel's docked about 10 levels down. Doesn't have a hyperdrive, though. We won't get far. No, but we can use it to contact Echo. Oh, Echo went to get Gregor. Oh, we're literally about to end up with the entire cast uh, that I we see Star in... Wars Rebels. Can't wait. I appreciate that it looks like a clone helmet mask in the, the mm. spire. I appreciate this episode really captures the scale of these ships. Yeah, you I agree feel, with that. You can feel the yeah, they don't they don't usually feel so girthy. I neutralized most of their rogue cell, but the rest are trapped inside with the target. What squadron are you with? That's classified. Oh. Why this spire is burning when our primary objective is to retrieve the target <laughs> unharmed? <laughs> Great question. I'm now in charge of this operation. You answer to me. Is that clear? Set blasters to stun and move in. We're moving in. I've never shoulder checked anyone. It's never too late to start, Greg. Just be like, I'm upset at you. <laughs> I'm walking through you. No, I th I think they couldn't get I think they couldn't get Crosshair to cooperate, so then they created this clone using Crosshair's DNA. Interesting. Feels like a stretch. What was that whole thing with teasing of you? Yeah, you want to know what's up? Yes, this is Crosshair. <laughs> you know, well, it's because Crosshair was supposed to be part of the unit. Set charges and seal this passage. We'll pin them inside. Team two, hold your position and stay alert. And, and their nature not to comply. Mine's in a crosshair. So Wolf is just following because Wolf is following. Wolf is a good soldier who follows yeah. orders. I forget that. Oh, yeah. Some of them are, are still are just unaware of the full scope of just how messed up the Empire is. I think when Wolf and Rex reconnect, we're going to have a uh, much needed turning point here. It's so neat that they created this series and are going to give us that backstory of how they all ended up together. Man, you are really cool. And also, this this music has been nonstop. It's yeah, just so good. So Kevin composed. Kiner. Yeah, it's like it's such magic. It's like flowing with the scenes and transitions. It was reminding me a really, little bit of Goldeneye earlier. It's really good. Yeah, yeah and it was coming. like more the espionage sneaky vibe. With your shaky hand? You're like me every time I play anything with a sniper on a video game. <laughs> <laughs> I can't focus. I'm too scared. <laughs> Smart. That's so funny. Smart. Realizes doesn't have the precision anymore, but still got the uh, wherewithal and the anticipation of his mind to do it. There's nothing quite like it. Get down. <laughs> Don't worry. She only bites half of the time. Great. Now that's a ship I'd take into battle. <laughs> <laughs> you go, Crosshair 2. <laughs> Holy shit. That was nice shooting. We've been compromised. Heading to marker 025 for an extraction. Repeat, marker 025. I mean, this assassin's, you, you, you kind of have to be on the assassin's side a little bit. <laughs> Just out of respect for the game, I'm saying. You know, it could be tech. Why would that be tech? We never saw the body. I don't know. But throwing crazy oh, theories Oh, but out. crosshair duplicate <laughs> is, is its own reach. Well, making a clone of a clone of a clone, like. Yeah, that's what they do. 
You've jeopardized this mission. I prevented the target's escape. Our orders are to retrieve the girl alive. This isn't over. There is something in the body language where the assassin clone seems a little dumbfounded, and I, I think it's because the mask is on. <laughs> so I'm like, what is the expression underneath? <laughs> I think it's a vacant. Because it's like, I'm a murderer. I, I did what I was supposed to. I'm in trouble. <laughs> You're not supposed to kill them. That's when they find baby Tarzan. Uh, now that's a reach, but we're due for a crossover. A crosshair over? You good? Uh huh. <laughs> oh. Sure, you can carry those supplies. Yes. Stay close. It's easy to get lost in this terrain. You're as bad as Hunter. Oh, I'm much worse. <laughs> I love them so much together. It's a Dark great dynamic. I don't feel like people talk enough about their dynamic. I think it's such an excellent dynamic. It's just, it's such wonderful growth and such an unexpected. They, they both ha they both want their own agency and freedom, but they care about each other and they have two very opposing personalities. It's <laughs> genuinely <laughs> such a good sibling yeah, dynamic. Yeah, it's amazing, yeah. It's really good. You're different than you were on Rylov. What changed? Loyalty meant something to me. But with the Empire, it didn't go both ways. It was just so tragic. I realized how disposable I was. You're not the only one. I'm done with this conversation now. Oh, I've got a little time for small talk. I'd pause for a long time. Get back to the shuttle and monitor comp channels. They couldn't have gotten far. The operative's gone rogue. I'll deal with him later. You said that last time and, well, by stunning him. <laughs> This is stressful. I hear it too. <laughs> Damn. We have to knock through their line to reach the extraction point. We've got these. I uh, can't kill. <laughs> good, good. Good thing everyone just wants to stun each other right now. Not everyone. Stick by my side and stay down. Who do you think's gonna die? Everyone. <laughs> really? Not everyone. A good amount of people. I think yeah, we're losing Patrick. one of the clone commanders. Yeah, but not one of the ones we really care about, right? I care about all of them, Craig. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Just need like Butch Cassidy, man. Or Sundance Kid. You need just... Wilhelm Scream, did you catch it? That was a good shot. That's me when I play Grand Theft Auto. How much further to the landing zone? Just ahead. Almost there. <laughs> I'm gonna throw Wilhelm Scream in like one of the most serious moments. <laughs> this looks like such a serious moment. <laughs> oh. Oh, damn. Who was that? Oh, I love how he went to go protect Patcher. We're out. What comes down to you, Crosshair? You're the only one. Oh, I love this. It's crosshair battle. Come on. I'll draw his fire. Get to the rendezvous. I don't like that idea. Too bad. Oh, no. They, they wouldn't do it this episode. They, I mean, Not they this. won't, but maybe they could. Because we're getting they, towards they, the end, They Greg. might tease us. That, so, let's just wait. If it happens, they both go down. Poor guy. Oh. Wow, there's such stakes. This oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, man. It's not over yet. He has the vibro blade. Oh, I love the environment in which this is going down. And oh, he has the vibro blade. I hate this so much. Unless Wolf. Oh, God. Cool. That is difficult to keep up with. Yeah, very hard to animate, too. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is so much like Predator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. You had your chance to be one of us. It's scary. Yeah, 
this. Oh, this hits. Oh, wow. No. Whoa. Oh, man. He's good at holding his breath. Oof. Holy shit. Oh boy. It's just you see like the hurt lost child in crosshair sometimes and his frightened expressions or his worry. You're like, oh no, he's still it's so feelings soft. after all. He is soft. <laughs> no. That is Wolf. Junker Blaster! Down! Wolf. Rex. He's going for the talk, huh? I thought you were dead. The report said you were killed in action. <laughs> what are you doing here, Rex? Don't tell me you're fighting against us, against the Empire. They're imprisoning and experimenting on our brothers. The Empire wouldn't do that to us. Wow. It's true. That's what's happening on Tantus. We have to stop them. You can help us. I have my orders. Hand the girl over, and I'll make sure you're given a fair trial. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. I know you've been trained not to question orders, but open your eyes. You're hunting a child. It's a messed up thing to say. As your brother, I'm asking you to do the right thing. Yes. Sir, there's an unmarked vessel inbound. Let him be. Or put the ships together. There's and one. Together. <laughs> <laughs> There's one non-clone in there. A little entourage there. Commander, which road do you take? Stand down. Are oh, you gonna have to have everyone keep this a secret? Whew. Man, that was just like clones. Recover their fallen. Then we move out. But sir, they're traitors. Perhaps, but they're clones. We owe them that. You're a good man, Dave Filoni. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Do you think the assassin's still falling? I spoke way too soon. <laughs> wow. Take off the helmet. No. I think I'm A-OK -okay with it just being an anonymous clone assassin. Um, No. That's not how we work in fandom. It's can of jars. <laughs> <laughs> I heard what Omega said about her escape. I think she's vital to whatever they're doing on Tentis. Yes. And if you want to keep her safe, you need to find out why she's so important. Oh, that's why we're going the Asajj route. We are totally going to see Ahsoka. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> that is so many cool things that need to happen. Oh. <gasps> We need to find a Jedi. That's, that's what we do in Star Wars. We have to find a Jedi. Just one. Citizens of the Reject Nation, or should I say Royal Rejects, because that is who we call those who check out our RR apparel at rejectnationshop.com. We come out with new designs every month or every two months. It is personally my favorite way you can support the channel. Reason being is because we are involved with every one of the exclusive RR designs that are up at the shop. Every month it's been growing. Every month we are getting more and more Royal Rejects, and I really love to hear how people are finding the shirts to not just be cool looking but also fit nicely and feel comfortable i cared about that more than anything else i'm a hairy guy so i'm really like sensitive to the fabric we got a bunch of designs already such as our super marvel bro shirt my sister actually designed this one deadpool wolverine inspired my personal favorite one but then we also got our like our number one bestseller the last daddy t-shirt which has pedro pascal from the last of us inspired carrying baby grogu we have loki's glorious balloon we also have our doctor who shirt which is full of a bunch of classic Classic Doctor Who quotes on the TARDIS. We have Space Babies of the Galaxy. We got ourselves some Star Wars inspired shirts. We got a Boys inspired shirt. And we have a House of the Dragon one as well. Pointing those out because obviously we have new seasons of those shows coming up. And then of course you got a bunch of other designs as well like our Batverse one. Who influences the influencers. Another Last of Us inspired t-shirt. And of course you know the classic reject symbolism t-shirts as well. Either one is an amazing way to support the channel. 
channel and like i said you get to look good while doing it so thank you guys so much do consider going to rejectnationshop.com and also tag us on social media if you end up buying a shirt please tag us we'd love to see it when people do end up buying the shirts thank you royal rejects see you guys soon we've only seen two jedi this show we saw caleb when was caleb caleb doom and then we saw uh, the wookie oh my god we saw three jedi this season who was the second one well i was thinking of uh uh kanan's master uh, yeah, yeah. And the, in the first episode? Yeah, in the first episode in the pilot. Uh, but you're thinking of Gunji. Gunji, God, I could yeah. not remember the name. Uh, how yeah. can you forget Gunji? Um, Gunji's the greatest thing that ever happened to Star Wars. So really, he's not getting enough credit. No, a lot of these not episodes at all. Loving are the ones no, there's loving. like a real... Uh, well, have we discovered if it's Saul or Saul? I think it's Saul. I don't think we should ever definitively discover that here on camera together until we go to a disney event and, and we, we're like hi, hi saul so we'll say at the same time that we just cancels yeah. it out yeah <laughs> he doesn't, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. gosh um but that was a great episode those are those are two great part i mean i, I get yeah. why they released those back to back because yeah. they, they need to be watched as one and uh the I, I thought there was just such a great mood piece to it as well you know like when you think about it, it it's it's planting a lot of seeds, it's propelling the plot forward. Maybe not like drastically slingshotting the plot forward. Sure. At the same time, though, it, the immediate experience I do think is, I think this show. I, I really feel I keep saying it every week that season three will potentially be my favorite season, just because it has that has that element of maturity in the way they're telling its tone. It's like the way I felt about the final season of Clone Wars. Yeah. You know, like wow, they're really just embracing its more not full adult and not full kid, you know? Yeah. Uh, I think it's a really great step, and I, I I like the way they have naturally found their way, the way they're tying it together, because, you know, mm. we're always talking about Clone Rebellion and all these things, and it's mm. not just, hey, let me pick up the phone and be like, what's hey, Rex, what you doing? You know? <laughs> want to like, go, go <laughs> storm the Empire? <laughs> the way these threads have all come together yeah. uh, has been done in a really natural way yeah. of what would cause Rex and his camp to go reach out to Hunter and them, uh, I think is yeah. just excellent. And and the way they keep this evolution process of, you know, what it means to be a clone in this time and that we yeah. are not just a product and at the same time showing that we can have, like Crosshair is a great example of it, you know, of uh, and there's just as much as watching crosshair change there's also this element of how can you adapt forgiveness as well and you watch people learn mm -hmm. to forgive crosshair and be understanding so i, I just think it's really it's really good yeah. stuff it's really good stuff. well it's uh, when you have so much exposition to have such an intensely personal drama mm -hmm. and really what feels like a family drama which i think is like no. I don't think there's any other piece that could do something like that where like no. you know it, it's like the unique nature of this and i feel like they're able to check all of those like exposition big time story boxes while not leaving behind all of the magic that comes from those those personal interactions and i think you know even that moment like with with wolf and rex that is a almost decade long payoff of a relationship and I think that's what's so special about this entire thing. It's just there's so many layers of complexity and so much history and emotion and feeling yeah. that is going into all of this. And it's just, you know, that plus the fact that you have these, you know, clones that clearly wanted to just survive who are willing to undergo, you know, insane uh, conditioning in order to become these, like, monster assassins, like... It shows just how brutal and everyone's just trying to survive. And I think the way that they've positioned the Batch and Rex and this company of clones is that the only way to survive is to fight back. Even if it means you die, at least you die with agency. Yeah. And, you know, I think, you know, for the clones, especially because of how they age, I think what Omega represents is a future of this family, even after the rest of, of them were gone. And, uh, you know, I, I think, uh, I mean, part of me is like, 
if Rex hears M count and is suspect that, you know, Omega is potentially force sensitive, you know, with, with high M count, there's almost kind of this like unique, like there was such adoration and love and respect for the Jedi, which of course, like order 66 and everything that transpired, it, it almost kind of creates this like Messiah type experience with Omega where it's like, no matter what, if only to make the galaxy safe for her, whatever happens next is worth it. And I just think that is such a cool place to enter the next chapter of the season. Um, and man, I'm going to miss this show. Well, it seems like they will probably get Omega for a little bit. There's so many episodes in this season. How? Uh, what are we up to, you think? Uh, I'll tell you right now. Hold on a second. Um, hold on. There's 15 episodes in total in this season, and we're only what, six, seven. Yeah, so we we got quite a few left to go. So, well, there's a lot of story to wrap up. Yeah, you know? and I, I think that they will eventually get to. I, you don't think they would probably extract more of Omega's DNA, and which could segue into, you know, little other moments, or is it going to be all Grogu and his M count? Well, I, I think it's the combination, and ultimately. I think the moral of the story is that because of the actions of all these respective characters, they kind of failed, right? Like, isn't that just the whole plot of the sequel trilogy? (laughs) It's like, oh, they made a couple shitty Snokes and a Palpatine body that needed to be replaced with his pseudo-clone granddaughter thing. Um, Spoiler. Um, So, uh, yeah, I I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm just so curious because of Omega's age because of all of the other things that are transpiring as part of this kind of larger cinematic vision that, you know, Filoni has. Yeah. I'm just so curious, where does Omega fit in? Um, and are we going to see her in live action? The Ray movie. But actually, it, like, maybe, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, if Ahsoka and Ezra and Omega are all around still by the time that movie comes around, like, you know. You can make something cool. Yeah, we it got could. Man, we got our Mando movie coming. Like, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, some cool stuff. But there's so many cool things. As far as this two parters go, I always think Bad Batch kind of excels at its best when they're doing yeah. a two parter. It's almost like longer form storytelling gives you the ability to tell better stories. Usually, yeah, usually. Well, it's like the first episode was such a build, and then the yeah. second episode, because it, it has a great grip on tension, and yeah. I think the music here. Uh, was so immersive. There's such a great flow mm. in, in every single scene. Like it's it's easy to get used to music, and and a lot of shows kind of just use the same tracks. And I love just hearing like the composition yeah. to the entire experience. And there's such a strong texture to the way the art form is done here. Mm-hmm. The the buildings and the ships they feel large, and then even like you get used to shots of just being in space in Star Wars, but yeah. when you see the reveal shots and then as they travel, you're like, wow, this, this at times it, 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 there's a, almost a photorealistic look to mm-hmm. some of the background. So I do think that what they brought for this, I'm glad they threw down for this final season because Bad Batch yeah. is not like, you know, the biggest animated show they've ever done. Yeah. Um, they've, but it's like, what, like third on. tier, after like Clone Wars, Rebels, then this, I would say, is there like another one of yeah, I mean, yeah. I, it's. I I appreciate that it is the the true successor to Clone Wars, and I think an opportunity to give these characters, without the like heftiness of the Jedi and how much they occupied in the Clone Wars story, to let them really thrive. And it's honestly, in what world, <laughs> in what world does a show? Almost every character is voiced by the same exact actor with slight iterations of the same yeah. voice. In what world does that work as such a powerful emotional drama? And it's like, it's such a, 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 a credence to the quality of, of the Clone Wars. And, you know, I think what I'm most excited about is the fact that they somehow keep getting better and learning and learning. And like, if it's already this good at the mid season mark, Mm -hmm. forget what the finale is going to be like. It's going to be pure magic. I feel like it'll be a beautiful one. The last thing I would say is a, is a thing that I'm hoping this season does 
pick up on because we constantly like every moment yeah. every episode that has featured omega and crosshair we have had at least one moment where we just kind of have to rant in the middle of watching it <laughs> of like this dynamic is so good and yeah, then yeah. we have to ex- like elaborate a little further more each each time right because it is it is so great and what they've done with with those characters is is amazing i was really concerned for crosshair here when he was going to die like i, I love the presence of yeah. the shot what was cool is like they, they call them like shadow clones is that what they call yeah, them shadows and, and for them to be like shadow clones and you watch how this oh this clone's really working in the shadows and they're really hard to figure out they're very tactile mm. uh excellent stuff and then when they are hand to hand and and the fact that they work just independently they don't care to follow the, the rest of the group it was there was a menace to it mm. that i really enjoyed my one of my criticisms i think with this season is that um it hasn't really done anything for me for like Hunter and Re- like at the end of the day, it's called the Bad Batch. Yeah, right. And I think last season did such a great job with Tech the entire time. Like I love, yeah. I grew to really love Tech last season. No, it's and, a it's a fair and, point. And, and uh, you know, Crosshair's always been compelling yeah. as hell, and it really yeah. feels like this way more his season. Omega, easily my favorite, she's been the entire series. Yeah. Hunter and 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 Wrecker just. Yeah, they're like well, there. It's, you know. it's hard because Hunter, in a lot of ways, kind of feels like uh, like a carbon copy, which is ironic because they're clones of uh, of uh, Rex. You know, where you have kind of this like a good, solid leader that cares, has good values, yeah. and I feel like we never really got to like explore beyond the fact that they're like really good at what they do. They've got a good temperament. You know, I think Wrecker has always played this kind of caricature character. And I think we got a little bit of it was fun to explore their their feelings and all of that. But, you know, at, at the end of the day, we're on with season three. Mm-hmm. First season, I think, was just getting us acclimated to the patch. Second season was all about building up tech and, and creating a character that we both said was our favorite character. Mm-hmm. And third season has been giving that same opportunity to Crosshair. You know, I think the the sad part is I just don't think they have enough time yeah. to to give them the sort of additional arc. Um, you know, I, I also, I've enjoyed having all the characters together, but at the same time, it's really a challenge to do that sort of development when you don't have... You know, oh, that's fair. You know. I, I just think Hunter, especially, could have used a bit of a personality. It's, a, it's, a, it's a flat character. It's a very flat. He, he like I, I like Hunter. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not. I, I, I feel like he's he'd be kind of a boring character because it's, it's it would seem like one of those cases where the first season was going, it's Hunter and the Bad Batch. And then they realized, yeah. we don't really have anything that interesting yeah. to do with Hunter. <laughs> Let's, no, like, some, sometimes cool. when you have <laughs> too many good qualities about a character and not enough like edge to them, um, well, it's not know. put in like compelling conversations. Even you know, like that's the thing. It doesn't yeah. just have to be like it's compelling solo. It, yeah. A lot of times, it's mainly just give him like a com- a conversation of challenge that doesn't seem like it could yeah. be given to any well, number. Th- of that's other something people. I feel like they fell short on with the crosshair dynamic, like. To me, that was the opportunity to really make an interesting dynamic. And I, sure. I think there was an urgency to try to rush that before moving to this next arc. Mm-hmm. When in reality, I think I would have liked to have seen that not reach its conclusion until the end of this uh, of the season or the show. Fair. Um, and because that was really the only interesting part about this character. Yeah. You know, um, and ra- yeah. like... I'm not sure what you can do with Wrecker, other than no, they're great. You know, they just the the comic relief, the Jar Jar. Yeah. All so right. Well, we're done. We still gonna wrap it up, and now, so uh, <laughs> you still gonna hit the notification bell and leave a comment below. Uh, what did you guys think of the episode? Who's your favorite character? What context do you think Asajj Ventress is gonna enter this story? And most importantly, are we going to see Ahsoka Tano? It seems like Asajj is entering in the exact same way of how uh, uh, Din Djarin needed Grogu to find a Jedi. Yeah, it's just a weird... Well, I guess maybe they're looking for Quinlan and instead they find Asajj. Yeah. Uh, which I'm sure will create a fun little conflict because, you know, I'm pretty sure Rex and her have gone up 
uh, against each other before. Because, yeah, it's either in some way M Count helps activate her force using to get connected to Jedi, or they specifically are seeking out Jedi. It'd be kind of weird, like, next well, week they're Again, like, Rex has a direct line to Ahsoka. That's true. Um, I always forget about that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so much to keep up. But it's, it's, it's interesting because, like, is there going to be... Is Ahsoka willing to come out of hiding at this point? Um, and I'm not sure the answer is yes. I hope the answer is no for her safety's sake. Uh, obviously, sure. she makes it, but... All right. Well, thank you, Reject Nation. In the meantime, may the Force be with you and uh, catch. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it full circle. <laughs> and that's a wrap. <laughs>